Well, you know, Musk's social media platform X now suing a group of advertisers claiming they conspired to boycott the company after he took over. The suit accuses the group of violating antitrust laws. Officials with X say their group's brand safety initiative called the Global Alliance for Responsible Media that deprived the company of billions of dollars in revenue. Last November, a number of advertisers left X over concerns of their ads showing up next to pro-Nazi content and hate speech. I want to go ahead and bring in Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes. And Khalif Rhodes, if advertisers want to, do not want to advertise, they have that right not to do so because that is their, their prerogative. Individually. That's Individually. The key. Individually. Wow. So if I decided as craft, you know what, I don't want to do this, and as, you know, Budweiser, I don't want to do this. But if we come together, if now we're saying, you know what, we're going to make this coalition and we're going to collectively decide we're not going to go there. Now that's antitrust. Now you're talking about collectively, you know, shutting out someone and the government doesn't want that at all. And so there are some a little bit of legs to this argument. They'll argue that, no, we individually did this on our own. We didn't come together. This was a decision that we happen to stand by these issues and these beliefs and these platforms. But we don't want to say that we agree that we wouldn't use your platform. We're deciding that we're going to use not use a number of them. So it wasn't strategically targeted towards you. That's their defense. But does he have a claim? For sure, because on his face, it looks like they wholeheartedly moved away as soon as he opened it up. Remember, he's the First Amendment advocate. He wants to ensure that everyone has access to free speech, right. regardless of if you don't like the speech or not. Well, that turned off a lot of his advertiser. A lot of folks that were paying millions of dollars in advertising did not want their name, their likeness, their business, anything to be connected with that. And so they do individually have the right to do that, just collectively, not at all. I have so many questions on this, okay, because when you think about how much money he has to be able to then have this type of, of, of lawsuit that's out there, um, you feel like it has legs. Where do you think this is going to go? I mean, I think for sure, he, because remember, this is not a public traded company. He owns his own his own. So individually purchases for billions of dollars out of his own pocket. So let's start there. So and because he is kind of a personal person, like he takes things personally. So California was overtaxed right. him. He moved it out of there. Most of his space says, move it out of there. So he takes shots at him as personal. I think if this case loses on any level, he will appeal it. I don't see him settling for any amount because he feel like he's been wrong. And he feels like he's standing on the right side of the law that at the end of the day, the first amendment is why I purchased X. Right. He purchased X because he felt like it was being mismanaged. He felt like folks' voices were being censored. And I want to ensure that censorship doesn't happen. So I think for him, this will be like the hill that he chooses to fight, to stand right. on, that I won't back down. Even if I lose this case, I'll continue and I'll continue because you know what? I have the money, I have the resources. Right. I can out -lawyerly. Most people can't out -lawyer big companies like this. Well, he can. Right. Yeah, it's uh, certainly on principle for him. But also, uh, too, uh, the companies here, uh, they're, they're sitting there. Uh, the, the, what about the corporate responsibility for X itself for the company saying that this is pro-Nazi content? That, that is, a, a, a think, and again, a hill that he's willing to fight on. My wife works in that HR space. She's done a lot of interviews with people that left from Twitter, left from Tesla. Right. And they talk about the corporate responsibility or the lack thereof in a lot of these places where he is. Because when you're attempting to open the door for free speech, some Sometimes you throw by the wayside some of that corporate responsibility. Well, now this is coming by, back to bite him in the butt mm -hmm. because if you're not doing that corporate responsibility on the inside, handling your own house externally, people will kind of either be turned off by it or they won't want to associate. And that's what you've had. You had them open a Pandora's box of folks saying, you know what? I don't think I like the way this direction is going. Tesla right now. sales down too, as well. 100% down. Tesla sales down and their advertising dollars are way down. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, Kali Friends, we appreciate it.